What is going on guys, it's MozzyHD here bringing you a editing tutorial on Sony Vegas. Now I'm only using 10 at the moment because it was the cheapest one to use and it's the only one that I've got on my computer. I can upgrade to 12 if I want to, but this is pretty much exactly the same as 12. It's just got a few minor tweaks that help it like in the future and fixed a few bugs. But basically I'm going to do a quick editing tutorial showing you how to put text into your um, videos because I know a guy has put a comment on one of my videos where I'm answering to that as well as anyone else who wants to put their videos out there on YouTube and make them look professional, make them look stylish and actually make people want to watch them like and enjoy you and subscribe to you and then build money and you get successful and you know what I mean I'm just getting a bit carried away. So basically, I'm going to be editing this clip on Modern Warfare 2, which I got about two weeks ago. It's just me doing a quick trick shot. Nothing, nothing that impressive, but it's just, it's just a good sample clip for me to use on, a, on a Call of Duty game. And besides, Modern Warfare 2 is probably one of my favourite games to do. And some people say it's actually harder to edit a Modern Warfare 2, but I don't know. I don't really see a difference. So I'm only going to be using doing this first part. Actually, should I do the final kill count? I might do the final kill count. Might be easier. So I'm going to move back. Move it, move it back to there. So basically, what sliding the clip does without holding down control is just it snips the clip to where you want it to end. You don't. It doesn't stretch it or anything, it just basically crops the clip. Now, if I move this one, it'll crop the front end of the clip. I want it to be in the final kill cam to around. Well, let's go here, go here, because we want a bit of a run up. So we are now ending with this. That's fine with me. So, in any clip, what do you want with it? You want text. This is what the first question was. You just move on to the text panel in the media generators, um, like you know, tab. Yeah, that's a tab. Um, what I what I use is this one. I usually just drag it in there. And make another. Probably want to make another video track. And by making another video track, it just puts another layer on top of the one that you already have. So that by right-clicking on that tab, that, that this track here, they're all separate tracks. You just drag this on top, and it should uh, appear. So let's just make it a, a tab of MW2. Like on it's too wide, so we'll just space it. there you go. We won't put any effects to it, we just want to put text in. And what we can do here is trim the clip so it disappears when you want to do the clip. And you want it to start probably by using the arrow keys, it's a lot easier to find where you want it to. So you want it gone there. And clicking the forward arrow key makes you zoom in, and I've made it disappear already. So I'm going to click Control Z. Control Z basically is a back, you know, um, undo button. So around here. So now you've got that as you start. I know it's probably a bit short to keep on, but this is what you guys asked for. Um, just putting text in, that's all I'm doing. That is one of the questions that I've answered to this, and if you want it to make look pretty cool as well, is music. Music makes everything better with these clips. So you wanna find, if you wanna put, um, you know when you see an edit and you see like, I don't know, the beat drops or whatever, the bass drops, when they shoot the guy and it, you think, oh, that's really coincidental. No, it is all fake. They have done this on purpose. So what you do, you use the arrow keys, left and right, to find where the gunshot is or when where you see the hit marker. Uh, I'm going to predict it about there. 
because you can see it on the sound, sound as well as that. And I can put an, click M by clicking a marker there. So that will mark when you first shot. Now, if you go into the sound effect that you want to put in, um, I am going to actually, well, you want music as well, so don't you? So I'm going to trim this clip by clicking S to the gunshot. Hopefully, though, it doesn't have the music. It might have the music in it. That's what I don't know. There you go. You just hear just the gunshot. That's all you want. So you can get rid of this. And by clicking U, it actually um, separates the clip from the uh, audio. And then just click backspace. I mean, not backspace, sorry. Uh, just click your delete key. And that will delete it and again if it's already separated you're gonna to have to click U again then click delete so you've got that so now what we have is a marked point of the shot we've got the gunshot now we want music uh, I have got uncopyrighted music but there are a few things you can do slightly to get around it in case it isn't copyright uncopyrighted but I know this is copy uncopyrighted sorry I know it's uncopyrighted, and I'm going to find the best drop possible. Uh, let's find it. No, not that. Yeah, around here. Around. Yeah. So you want this bit. So what we're going to do? We're going to trim it all the way to the sh the drop. We're actually going to zoom in to where the drop is and we're going to cut it there so now what we're going to do is we drag the first part to the clip it doesn't matter if it is too long we can just shorten it slightly so it fits like that and we put that in as well like so now we're probably going to want this gunshot a bit louder so we'll move the decibels up to 12 and basically now when he when the beat drops it will shoot I might put this this track down a bit as well because it's going to be a bit too loud for it but so we got it synced up i know we haven't got any edited effects but i can do that in the next video i publish so check out for the next editing tutorial on we'll probably be doing like a flash effect or a blur effect or a slow-mo effect anything you want on a cod go uh, on either ghosts or whatever call of duty you want to do it on and please like uh, the video comment and subscribe if you want to see more of my content i've got a gta 5 cat and mouse video which has really hit it off so you could check that out on my channel but other than that i will see you in the next video